It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC East. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. All that and more coming up next. Take a drive from downtown along Broad Street. You run into Lincoln Financial Field, the home of the Eagles here in South Philadelphia. Set for a good matchup in one of the premier divisions in the NFL. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson with you. Greg, you never get a chance to really rebuild. Everyone wants you to win right now in this division. And they've been taking turns at the top of the division. 19 years since the Eagles repeated as division champ. Dallas won it last year. Who knows what we're in store for this season? Yeah, it just shows how hard it is to win year in and year out consistently in the NFL. The league is set up for parity. It's set up for teams that were last in the division. They have just as good a shot to win it the next year. And I think this is a two-horse race. With Dallas, as you said, they won it last year. I think Philadelphia feels that this roster, this coaching staff coming back, has them in position to challenge Dallas I think right now New York and Washington find themselves on the bottom looking up, but I think the Eagles and the Cowboys, this could come all the way down to the end of the season. Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago, already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There aren't many quarterbacks in this league who come under the microscope as often as this guy does. I mean, he isn't perfect by any means, but you can certainly do a lot worse than having him lined up as your guy leading your offense. He has the athleticism to bail himself out of bad situations, but also the arm talent to make every throw on the field. So as long as he protects the ball, that's been the biggest thing in his career. If he can do that, man, he's as good as they come in this league. Here's a second and nine. A shotgun snap for Prescott. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. Well, here early on, if this pass rush continues to get home at this rate, this is going to be a long day for this offense. They're going to have to put some extra guys in there, mix in some play action, keep this pass rush off balance. Not the sharpest of starts on offense here in early third and long. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. He'll let this go deep for Tolbert. And that is incomplete. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential. Your ability to protect the ball and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Eagles led out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. This is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better, Mike, right? I mean, think back, whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist, going from a backup role to MVP candidate. His development has been fun to watch. And now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league. And if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. And this play is going nowhere. Taken down behind the line. A great way for this defense to get on the field and get started. Man, what a big time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. Right back to Brown. He's got it again. And will mark him down up beyond the 30. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. 
You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Hurts will work here from the pistol. He's going to keep it himself. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. To the outside, catch made by Brown. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor. And every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. On first down, it's Hurts. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. So often for a defense defending the passing game, the most difficult guy to account for is the running back out of the backfield. So a really nice job here bringing him down before he has a chance to pick up any yards after the catch. A pistol snap back to Hurts. There's the tight end, Grant Calcaterra. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Finding room to the 20. And he's going to take this all the way home. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Big play out of the running game as the back accelerates all the way to the house for the rushing touchdown. And Mike, when we talk about burst, that's what we're talking about. And they told us all week, be ready for this guy. He's got something special to him. And that long touchdown there is exactly what they're talking about. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This taken at the five. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Just start this on the ground with Elliott. So after one, seven nothing is our score. And we're back in Philly in a moment. Second down and three. Now Elliott. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. 
And that one's going to be shut down quickly. A minimal game. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. Second down and eight. They'll run Zeke up the middle. Oh, what a run. Down inside the 30-yard line. There's a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Whole lot of extra muscle over there on the left side for this first and 10. get away and he's gonna go down and now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth each team trading blows trying to establish control over the other nice chunk play on the previous play the defense responds back with a sack and we'll see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds work to do now as they come up on second and long From the shotgun, it's Dak. He's got the open man. That's Jalen Tober. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. Two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. We'll come back to Philadelphia right after this. On third down, Prescott. Now a screen set up for Elliott. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And... That's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game, and they're not going to... That one, take it in. Brandon Cooks, touchdown Cowboys. Well, you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always gonna be perfect, Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. He knocks it through. The Cowboys will level things out at seven apiece. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Eagles offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. A pass caught by Saquon. 
And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Hertz working in the pistol. Firing right side and brought in by Brown. And he will score. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. Elliott on now for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Eagles will move out to a 14-7 lead. time final minute of this first half we'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way and he is stopped at the 25 the drive will begin there the Cowboys offense and veteran Ezekiel Elliott making their way back out they trail now 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10 to throw this pass right side taken in by Cooks and now the Cowboys going to take a timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this first half they'll come to the line now on second and two Now Prescott, that's complete to Elliott. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Scott. The open man is Tolbert. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Again, Prescott to the air. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Third and short. Prescott. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day 
where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. They'll come up here first and ten. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we've reached halftime here in South Philly, and the Eagles are on top as we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically, where the coach is Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome, in everyone, to our halftime report. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. Like we're going to play a big role in who wins this one. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. That's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over once more. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open and electric throughout. to the air on first down. He finds Devontae Smith. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Well, any fear they might have had that they'd come out of the halftime break flat has completely gone out the window immediately back in the attack mode, continuing to take the fight to the defense. They're not content, Mike, here, just having the lead. They're looking to extend it. A couple more plays like that. They're going to find themselves in scoring territory here very quickly. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So, here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. Quick throw on the RPO to Goddard. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. From six yards out, it's first and goal. Hurts will try it again. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia. 
Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Here comes a return from the five. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott up the sideline to the 40. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Again, here's Zeke. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight. Setting up second and short. They'll stick with Elliott. And he'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass, you can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. Dak can throw it here on first down. Pass completed right side to Ferguson. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. On the play fake, Dak. That is brought in at the 10. And he'll be taken down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Prescott on first down. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's going to be brought down here on what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. So we'll take it to the other end as we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Ezekiel Elliott, touchdown Dallas. 
Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Aubrey now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Cowboys draw closer here. It's 21 to 14. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. From the six, here comes a return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Hurts going to hold on to this one. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. A good spot here. Second and a yard. Man in motion is Smith. On second down, Hurts. Looking middle, and he's got Brown. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. On first down, it's Hurts. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They'll work now on second and four. Now Barkley. And he's going to have that first down across midfield and down to the 46-yard line. Once again, it's Barkley. And he is putting in the work. Dancing inside the 40-yard line. A gain of eight. Here's second and two. He'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down.
The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to a knee. Bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Nice run there by Barkley, and he certainly surprised a lot of people in free agency. Not only that he left the Giants, but that he chose to sign with one of their biggest rivals in the process. He now joins a loaded Eagles roster, and having him in the fold will certainly help as they try to get back to another Super Bowl here in 2024. a win here for the Eagles. They use a little home cooking here. They play a complete football game and they send their fans home quite happy. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Eagles are winners, as we say so long from South Philly.